Hello Virgos, welcome to Ego Tarot. This is Kensley, the Ego Tarotist, and welcome to my reading. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, your chakras and kind of doing a chakra check-in, chakra, and um, yeah, thank you so much. If you would like to subscribe and to get notifications, please do so, and we'll get into your reading right now. Um, you got the white raven trust in the magic and to me ravens are very smart highly educated creatures which is it's not just educated because of genetics or instinct it's like they learn as an individual on their own um so to me trust in the magic means um really trust that spirits with you got your back and there's some, there's some intended, there's, there's intention behind this there in, in whatever you're going through and, um, that you need to sit back and then you get the loyal hearts, which I do love. Look at these. So we're, we've got already out of the gates, you know, two, two. Two avian species, and which makes me very happy. But I love that these are barn owls, and uh, they're just sweet creatures of the night that love to catch mice and be loyal to each other. Sure, okay. Let's let's do that. Okay, so for your first, we're going to start at the base, and we're going to start with the root chakra, and. In, to be in balance with your root chakra, it means stability, uh, groundedness, um, prosperity, healthy, you're healthy physically. Um, if you're deficient in the root chakra, that is fearful, underweight, or spacey. This is just a very quick overview. I'm sure there's so much more, but just to kind of get you an idea of what all of this is. If you're if you're in excess of the root chakra, then you there could be obesity, greed, materialism, hoarding, that kind of sluggishness, that kind of thing. Um, and you got the Empress from behind, and the book from the Lenormand deck, which is something that I just quickly drew up since I didn't have a Lenormand deck. So you're gonna have amateur hour on that. But the book uh, represents learning, education, policies, secrets withheld, and research. Um, then you've got the Empress from behind, which is typically, the Empress is, you know, profound abundance. It's Mother Earth. It's um, all the queens wrapped up into one. But you get the backside of her, and I think of her as still the Empress, but just a little more... Um, weather weathered it's like the Beyonce of today versus the Beyonce 10 years ago before she got her ass cheated on I mean it's and there's death and rebirth I mean you see this skull which is representative of death and rebirth and then romance based you know love based on the roses and then you've got a falcon um, of knowledge uh, in this card so I think and then you've got this book, which is knowledge. So I, I think, I think you're realizing in your root chakra, um, which is the heaviest of karmas, um, that you're still, you've been knocked at, you know, you're walking with a limp, you're still walking. You're walking with a limp, but um, that groundedness, and I would imagine the Empress being unbelievably grounded. Um, she is all four queens at, rolled up into one. So then there's prosperity, then there's health, then there's trust, there's passion, there's intellect. There's all of this that's rolled up into this Empress that's coming from behind. 
and it means she's still who she is. She may not have been who she once was, which is not always a good thing. Sometimes that optimistic, oh, an unstoppable attitude needs to be a little cut down a little bit. Not in a bad way, more like um, it, it, you haven't been war-torn. You haven't had those experiences in life that have humbled you to your knees and have allowed you to pick yourself back up and and to understand that you're nothing is just perfect and all starry eyed and yes there's stars guide you and they're you're, you're this amazing chick but maybe you're actually um you finally have gotten over a bunch of shit that you've you and you're still that amazing chick but you're even better. I think this card is even better than this chick because this card has that experience behind her. And I take that book as absolutely learning and knowledge and experience um, in your root chakra. So I do feel that you're had to deal with some heavy karma, but I think you're very stable and, um, you've got, you've, you're grounded. Sacral chakra is when you're in balance, you you're healthy sexually. There's, you, you can experience pleasure, uh, feeling and fluidity when you're out of, when you're deficient, um, you're rigid, emotionally numb when you're in excess, you're overly emotional, sex ad addiction, possibly obsessive attachments. And all of these things are, like I said, it's a bell curve of all of this. Like the closer you get to the center, which is total balance, um, the more, the more optimal it is. Um, and I think with your sacral chakra, you're dealing with all right, so you're dealing with the Eight of Swords from behind, which if you can see, she is, I love this. This is one of my favorite cards, is that you're, you feel like you're stuck, but you don't realize until, until you start wiggling around and um, Realizing that the ropes truly aren't as tight as possible and that you've got that knife to actually cut yourself free from that. And the eagle behind her is absolutely representing freedom. So you're being coming free from, um, I think, an imbalance in the sacral chakra. Uh, you have the moon and the, and the heart uh, from the Lenormand deck to support that. And the moon is all about, and I love the Lenor Lenormand. I don't know how often people, if you're familiar with it, but I like how literal it is. It talks about timing. It talks about this is what this is. It, it, it's no room for interpretation. It is what it is. And uh, the moon is subconscious intuition, fears, fantasies, and emotions, and the heart is emotions, reconciliation, romance, love, forgiveness, and softness. Um, so I think, I think there's a, I think you're getting through this fear of emotions of reconciliation. I think, I think you're, there's some intuition at play here that is allowing you to get through this, this fear of being stuck and, and you're getting, becoming f free in your sacral chakra, which is all about creativity and health, sexual health. It's all about intimacy. That's what it also is. It's about intimacy. And I think you're, you've got this fear of intimacy that you're coming out of, you're getting over it. You've got this fear of the unknown in, in sharing love and romance with someone, not just sex. I mean, it's hard to 
um, go that next step and to really expose yourself to someone else in, in that experience as opposed to just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Call you never. Thanks. Um, and I think that there's, there's some, you might still feel stuck and you, there might be some imbalance with, it seems it didn't clarify on, I, there does seem to be an imbalance of the sacral chakra, but it, I can't tell which, which way. And it could be that it's different for everyone, one side versus the other. So it doesn't matter. There's an imbalance, but it's because there's a, a fear of intimacy. So he, so one group of the Virgos is either having too much sex and just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just, this is the act and it is what it is because I'm hardened my heart and no one's ever going to get in. So let's just enjoy some physical pleasure. The other part of the Virgos are like, ain't anyone going to get in there. Uh-uh. And I think that there's either a need for undoing that self-sabotage or that's starting to unfold. Let's see how this, the rest of this plays out. Solar plexus is all about your ability to um, see both inner and outer dimensions. There's vital in, when in balance, there's vitality, strength of will, purpose, self-esteem, visionary, courageousness. When deficient, you've got a poor self-esteem and you're passive or you're, you know, whatever combination of it. Um, and when you're in excess of this chakra, you are dominating, controlling, aggressive, scattered, that kind of thing. Um, and so this is all about self-esteem. And I think uh, you got the three of swords and the mountain. The mountain in the Lenormand deck, again, it's very literal. It means obstacles, struggles, and challenges. And so I think you are absolutely struggling with the heartbreak and it, it has affected the, the heartbreak that you've felt in your life from either a breakup of a person or the breakup, uh, you know, the heartbreak from a family member, from a parent that hurt you a long time ago. Uh, but your self-esteem has been wounded and there's a lot of challenges and struggles associated with um, the solar plexus chakra. Heart. When in balance, there's compassion, self-acceptance, and you have some pretty fucking amazing relationships. When out of balance, when, when deficient, there's shy loneliness, uh, shyness, loneliness, isolation, and bitterness. When you're in excess, there's code, codependency, je jealousy, possessiveness, poor boundaries. So with supporting that is the page of uh, cups from behind and the letter. Now the letter in the Lenormand deck is seven of spades. It's important information or messages or correspondence or communication coming in. And the page of cups is typically deemed as the uh, communication of love. Um, but in a very uh, timid and or, or um, it's just not a very mature, confident communication of love. It's like a text of, hi, how's it going? And your heart chakra vulnerability and intuition are also associated with the heart. Um, shyness and okay. So in context of what else is going on, you've got a loyal heart. And it was broken in the past. 
and your self-esteem has been blown there's you feel like you have to climb this huge hurdle to get through it all but then you get this little messenger of of love and it's from behind and i like the from behind guy better than the forward position guy because the forward guy is like Here's your damn fish. King loves you. Can I go hang out with my friends and play some Xbox? Seriously get that. He is not happy that he's there. He's in, his cloak is in the ocean. It's like, this fish is bloop, bloop. And he's like, mm-mm. But backwards, it's like there's sea tur there's this ancient wisdom behind him that he doesn't even realize, and behind the 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 bloop of the fish. <laughs> and it's nighttime, and there's a bunch of brilliant stars behind him. And I feel that we're not, and maybe we are not meant to see his frustration, his apathy about it all. Um, in this version of the card, but what I like about this is that with the letter You're not supposed to see the apathy that is that is uh, Apparent in this card. You're supposed to see the fact that it's It's a messenger of love that's guided by ancestors and ancient um, Spirituality and there's a letter associated with it of communication. It doesn't necessarily mean a letter exactly. The Lenormand deck is very, very specific, but it does mean inf important information or messages are coming, going to be coming to you soon. The letter means um, timing associated with this is best. So I do feel like... Um, You've gone through a lot of struggles, but there's there's a new there's a new feeling in love that might help to open up your heart chakra, um, and it's in, it's positive, it's new information and uh, and love whether it's it confession whether it's a text of oh, hello <laughs> hello. You be patient with it. Just respond naturally and just say, let, just see how it goes. Don't respond with um, anger that they abandoned you or whatever. Or don't respond if, if that was an old, old person that you, or not an old person, but a person that you've known in the past. Or if it's a new person, don't be overly aggressive and be like, Hi, really, is that all the best you can do? Using your past experience to project onto this new person. Don't do any of that. Just play it cool and be like, I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust in the magic. Trust that this person is actually going to have a loyal heart and be loyal to me. Maybe not like I had in the past. Um, ooh, so your throat chakra, when that is in balance you've got clear communication creativity and resonance when it's out of balance when it's deficient and there's a fear of speaking or poor rhythm when it's excessive it's um uh inability to listen or stuttering or or excessive talking and that is coupled by with the ma uh, magician and the ring Oh, that's fun because the magician is manifesting all the tools of the trade. It's, it's making shit happen. Something's making it happen. Oh, white ravens making it happen. And you didn't even know it. Um, yeah, trust, trust that this trust in the magic of this shit. There's some, there's some manifestation happening and literally a ring means commitment partnership promises and contracts 
So in the context of the throat chakra, in terms of clear communication and resonance, um, I think you're going to get, I, I don't think this is about you. I think it's, a, I think you're going to get clear communication in someone who wants a partnership with you, um, who has you have either manifested this person or they have manifested you. But what a, whatever this is, this is a part of a divine plan that um, I think needs to be heard. That needs to be spoken um, and heard. Uh, the third eye is, uh, in, when in balance, is intellect intuition deepest wisdom seeing the future clear seeing psychic perception accurate interpretation imagination when blown you know blown <laughs> when the when the third eye chakra is blown out um you are going to be deficient in there's poor memory poor vision you're unimaginative or in denial if there's an excess there's headaches nightmares delusions difficulty concentrating and so you get supporting the third eye chakra is um, the, ch the chariot from behind and the garden. And the garden in the Lenormand deck is literally social gatherings, fame, public affairs, cultural teamwork. And, and then you get the chariot coming in fast, but it's not just coming in fast. It's coming in divinely guided fast. This, you know, this is coming in fast. Something's coming in fast. But this is telling you that it was manifest. It was manifested. No. Oh. Yes. Am I not seeing this quite? Hold on. It was manifested. It was divinely guided. It was manifested by spirit or you or this other person but um i think a celebration and communication this garden card is a very social gathering type experience it's very positive um it's cultures and teamwork and but i think this chariot it's like I literally think, and this is the Norman, I love it, it's very literal, that I think you're going to meet your person at a party, and it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks, and you're going to know it because of your intuition. Oh, I like that. That's some... And they're going to be this loyal-ass person. Oh, oh, oh. Crown chakra is in balance. You've got um, self-realization, contentment, oneness, wholeness, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual connection, and consciousness. When it's deficient, you've got limited be beliefs and apathy. When there's it's an excess, there's um, overall intellect intellectualization. Uh, or overly intellectual, there's confusion um, or spiritual addiction, even um, disassociation. And I think, and then you get the, the Ace of Swords um, from the forward position and the crossroads. Sorry, it's hard for me to understand these cards sometimes. Um, and crossroads. And crossroads in the Lenormand deck means decisions, choices. Um, there's a hesitation maybe sometimes. Uh, stalemate or separation. But I, I think of this as absolutely your spiritual connection to source is allowing for this new beginning and truth and honesty to begin to 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 occur and there's a decision for you there's a decision for you if you it's it's like the choice is yours you have free will it's whatever if 
if you want to choose it, then do it. If, if you don't, then don't and accept your consequences. But Spirit's just handing it to you. Spirit is literally handing you an actual ring from a person at a literal party that's coming in fast and you're going to know about it whether you choose to believe it or not. Whether you choose to believe this new beginning in, in truth or not is totally up to you. But, and especially since you've, you've got this fear of the unknown and relationships and love in your sacral, in that creativity and that intimacy part of you, you're going to have to make a choice. Go within and stay in, in secure in this Climbing of the mountain and the of the heartache, climbing of the burden of getting over that heartache, or are you going to accept this offering of love? I think you should. This is totally telling me that whomever you're gonna meet at a party soon. Whether it's someone you knew or this new person. I'm not saying go for it. I'm saying make sure that this person has a loyal heart. But man, it's guiding. It's absolutely guiding towards a new beginning. And that it is totally up to you. But it feels right. In this, in this spread, it feels so right. So I really hope you continue to trust in the magic that what's going to happen is going to happen for a reason. And that spirit has, you know, has a, has a plan for you. Um, all right. All right, guys, Virgos have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you later. Love you guys.